Okay, this is uh, Jeff Kane, and this is uh, one of our distance education workshops. And we're going to be looking at CCC Confer today. And basically, I want to take a look at how to get the most out of CCC Confer. Uh, but for those of you who haven't popped into CCC Confer in a while, you may notice some changes here. Uh, Illuminate was uh, the software that CCC Confer uh, uses. It's this webinar software. And this software was uh, acquired by um, the Blackboard Corporation. And Blackboard uh, it seems to have simplified some of the controls in some ways. Um, and uh, there's a few things that are, I think, still a little hidden, but we'll wait and see what, uh, what they're doing with that. Um, I'm just going to just give a quick, quick tour here. Um, and I'm going to share. OK. Let's see if I can get this into the, there we go. OK, so um, this is a, a quick tour here of, uh, if you look at uh, number one, that's our, the title of our session. Um, and then the uh, menu bar has a lot of, a uh, lot of tools. Um, that used to be little icons, and, and now they're, um, uh, some of them are up in the tools, and they seem to have streamlined things a bit. Uh, the video window, you'll see, is uh, they've got kind of a dedicated space for that now. That's um, uh, number three. Um, and then in four, uh, they've, uh, I think they've made this a little, uh, a little clearer. Um, there's, uh, the usual buttons of where you can put in your uh, emoticons. Uh, the button that tells you that you stepped away from the session. So when you click that, it says away. Uh, and then if you have a question, you can raise your hand. Um, and then there's the voting buttons are where this check mark is. And these buttons used to be, you know, underneath, um, underneath the roster list, which is there. Um, the chat window uh, looks pretty much uh, pretty much the same. Uh, you can you know increase font size, decrease it, um, you can detach these panels, uh, and you type in here, um, and you get the this is the chat, and that's pretty much uh, it's not too different. Then the uh, whiteboard tools. Um, are a little a little more simplified as well. You'll see them uh, along along the side. Um, let's see about right here, and then the um, the present whiteboard presentation window is here. Um, we also have the uh, this is the web. Oh, right here. Oops. Um, up on the top under nine, there's this row of buttons here. And that's the collaboration toolbar. And the, the moderators uh, use the functions by clicking on those buttons. And so we have um, the load content button, which is kind of blocked here, uh, the record button, uh, and then buttons to create, um, to either put yourself into the um, web mode so that you can uh, lead your uh, viewers through uh, web pages, and also create um, create new pages. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the, to the main window. I'm going to stop sharing there. And so <coughs> application sharing has set select, start sharing or switch mode. So I have to click on another button in order to get, uh, get things going. But we're going to look at the uh, tools um, as we see how to set up a uh, how to set up a uh, present, you know, presentation. Um, one of the things that uh, I noticed out of the box is that they had these, um, they have this clip art preloaded in there, and they have a um, world map in the clip art, and I went ahead and just threw it up there. And that's one of the things that I like to do when I've seen this in um, workshops that uh, people from 
Illuminate used to do is they'd put up a map and they'd ask the participants to put a uh, uh, put a mark or a highlight um, on where they're from. Uh, everyone here is from uh, from uh, Eureka or the Humboldt County anyway. We're we're sitting here in Eureka, uh, but you can take the um, you can take one of these highlighting tools. You'll see the little star. It's the second uh, icon down. And it will bring up uh, just three things. And if you click on the star again, it gives you the star. And you can place the star wherever you want. You know, there's Africa. And you use this to highlight uh, things on the screen. Um, if you also have a uh, highlighter pen, that will allow you to you know, circle, circle things here. Um, but what is the point of that? Well, let's let's take a look. Um, we'll see that as we as we go through um, this, getting the most from CCC confer. Uh, we have a video that Daniel Fiore made, um, and uh, it's uh, we'll be putting a link to that in this uh, meeting or up on our website. So he's got kind of I think the short version uh, of getting ready for a meeting. Um, and uh, one of the one of the things that you can do um, to get ready is to, of course, you know, prepare yourself. Um, you want to, you know, practice and get comfortable with the technology before your first uh, presentation. Um, participants are focused when you are confident, when you know how to how to use these tools. So it's kind of funny because these are still kind of new to me, and I'm still getting used to them. So I'm I'm glad I have this opportunity to kind of play around today. There's also part of preparing yourself. There's uh, recorded trainings in the CCC Confer Training Center. Let me pop up that URL. Okay, Daniel put in his YouTube as well. Great. Um, and then under the training center, there's um, recorded trainings at uh, CCC Confer. I'm going to put those up there as well. So those, those uh, URLs are in the chat. OK, um, so you've taken a look at the tools. You may have looked at some recorded trainings. Um, the next thing you do is um, you know, think about uh, some icebreakers for the meetings. Um, you know, there's the uh, map that we posted. And you can have participants use the tools to show where they are now or, or where they'd like to be. Um, you can ask each participant in advance for their picture. And as you post a picture on the whiteboard, have that person introduce themselves. Uh, another way that they, can, uh, that they can do that is if they take the video and they, take a pic they can take a picture with that video. But anyway, you could also use the video to have uh, have participants introduce themselves. Uh, then um, another thing that you can do is uh, post a question with um, multiple possible answers and ask participants to respond using the polling tool. And if you remember that that polling tool is let me put up something is uh, is in that row of uh, buttons, and it's the first one on the uh, on the right. Um, so then also, uh, before you uh, get started, you can remember that um, with your auxiliary tools, such as a tablet PC or a, a Wacom uh, tablet, um, you can use your stylus to write on your tablet, and the information appears on the CCC Confer whiteboard. And this is good for science and math courses. Um, also, we've, we've tested um, smart board displays in CCC Confer, and that works as well. Uh, but the point is that you might want to uh, test that stuff and um, you know, uh, play with it a bit to make sure that uh, everything uh, everything is working and that the connections are what they're supposed to be. Uh, another thing that you can do is um, is you can make sure that your first time participants run the test your computer readiness wizard uh, at least uh, two days before the meeting. That's uh, the CCC confer recommendation. I think that you know even like <coughs> an hour before is fine. 
Uh, this allows for time to address any connection issues and it will um, allow uh, your students uh, to contact uh, the CCC Confer support if there's any issues. And I've found that the CCC Confer uh, uh, the CCC Confer help desk has just been terrific. Um, let me go. Okay, so we have a uh, see my link to test your computer readiness. So we'll put that in. I thought I had that up already. Um, we we usually have a link to that on our uh, web page as well. It also comes with every time you create a meeting, uh, the email that's sent, there's a, uh, a link to that as well. Uh, let's see. Um, also, part of GID being ready is understanding how the telephone conference line options work. If you have more than one presenter, uh, if you can have each one of them can use the presenter passcode when calling into the phone bridge. Um, presenters and facilitators can press star six to mute their own line when they're not speaking and star six again when it's their time to present. Uh, and really a thing that's important if you're going to use uh, CCC confer in a classroom, um, it's really important to know about star 96. Uh, star 96 allows you to mute all participants and this lecture mode is what they call it. This prevents background noises and over talking from being heard uh, by everyone. So it gets rid of the um, barking dogs, the children returning home from school, all of that kind of things that you that you'll sometimes hear in meetings. And then to remove lecture mode you just use star 97 and that will uh, open the telephone line for questions. Um, let's see, so there's also um, there's uh, we thought that there was a button for connecting the teleconference bridge and we found that maybe there's not a button or maybe there will be a button but if you go up into the up into the menu um, click on oh no it wasn't up on the menu it was um, let me put a uh, it was where it was on the participants window and there's a pull down menu there and um, I was okay Daniel <laughs> was that was that where we found it? It's the audio and video window. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't even close. Oh, okay, right. So it's up at the top. Yeah, up at the top. There's an audio video uh, where it says audio video, and to the far left, there's an options menu that pulls down, and that will. Uh, yeah. Oh, did I say okay? So I'm sorry. Far right. Uh, far right side. And uh, it will it has all of the uh, telephone uh, features are there. So then, on the uh, on the day of the meeting, I, I like to suggest that uh, uh, people log in early. I think um, 20 minutes is is good, especially if you're going to be loading a uh, PowerPoint presentation, and that uh, PowerPoint is. Um, if you look up uh, in the upper right hand uh, corner, there's the, you'll see the uh, record button and the load content button, and that's how you get your that's how you get your um, PowerPoint presentations in there. Uh, when I come when I first come in, I like to set the timer, and uh, I use the timer to let everyone know how long it is before we'll begin. And sometimes I, you know, if we have a 10 o'clock meeting, I'll set it so it goes off at 10:03, just so we catch some of the stragglers. Um, the pop, the timer used to pop up in a window, and now it's um, it goes up in that middle space between the uh, web tour button and the uh, timer button. And uh, then we, when you start the timer, it gives you an option to put in a, a name, and I always uh, put in, we will begin soon. Okay, so after you set the timer, you can uh, connect the teleconference bridge. Uh, so if you plan to record the meeting, the teleconference bridge must be connected to capture the conversation in the recording.
uh, if you use the lecture mode, you can press star 96, and a global announcement states that the conference line is in le lecture mode, so it lets everyone know, so people aren't just talking, you know, to a uh, silence. Um, and then when the call is not in lecture mode, the operator can isolate noisier static lines and disconnect them from the uh, conference. So if you press star zero, uh, that will uh, that will happen. And um, uh, participants can listen over their computer when the teleconference bridge is connected, or they can listen to the telephone. All right, and then um, when you've got that connected uh, connected to conference bridge, you can bring in your presentation content. Um, and that could be uh, pictures or uh, PowerPoint presentation. Um, what happens is uh, CCC Confer opens up PowerPoint and converts all of your PowerPoint slides to uh, images and then uh, we'll put them on slides for you automatically. Now, um, what happens is um, if you had any animations or anything like that in that PowerPoint presentation, that's not going to happen. Uh, but it will, um, it, it'll still, you know, put all your slides up. Um, let's see, other, other parts is if you go to, there's got application sharing, timer whiteboard, um, under there's, uh, was there's window, there's a file manager, file transfer library under window. Uh, that you can use to load any documents. Um, so if you go up to the file menu in the upper left-hand corner of your screen and go to Window, um, and there's File Transfer Library where you can load any documents that you want to deliver to uh, the people you're presenting to. Um, okay, so then when you, um, when you start off uh, the session, you can send an announcement in the uh, uh, chat and then you can reset the timer in private view. So let's say you know that you want to, uh, you know, you're presenting for 50 minutes. You can set the timer for, uh, for 50 minutes. But the other thing that you can do is um, you can click on a button in the timer window when you're setting it up that says show to moderators only. And that way you'll be able to keep in track of your own, own time. And then, um, uh, you're ready to present. Um, so this is the time when you would click on the uh, record button, uh, which again is in the upper left-hand corner. And it's also um, a good time to remember that when you're presenting, you want to engage your participants. And experts recommend interacting with your audience every six minutes. Um, you want to pull your participants to check for understanding. You can click the, um, the yes or no checks or expand the poll to uh, multiple choice options. Um, encourage the use of uh, the buttons. Um, make sure that your participants know how to use the uh, emoticons and the, uh, and the uh, raise their hand, that sort of thing. Um, and then even ask the participants to write on the whiteboard um, when appropriate. And for my, I don't think it's too distracting. I'm, uh, and people usually use that in moderation, but I don't think there's uh, anything wrong with using, you know, letting the uh, participants use all of the tools. Okay, and then finally, as you're uh, uh, wrapping up um, the meeting, um, be sure to summarize uh, for uh, your participants why, why they were there. Maybe give some uh, uh, shape to what happened in the meeting. Let them know if an archive will be available for viewing and where that might be. Um, inform uh, the participants of any plans to meet again and uh, state the next date if it's already scheduled. And then when the meeting is over, uh, stop the recorder and disconnect the teleconference bridge in the room. Uh, then remind everyone to exit the room because uh, the archive is created when the room is vacated. So when the last person leaves, that's when they start creating the archive. Um, you can remove participants who stay behind by right-clicking on their name and selecting uh, Remove Participant. Okay, so that's, um, that's pretty much uh, uh, the presentation. Um, this is another piece of, uh, uh, piece of clip art that I found in there. Um, 
And uh, if uh, you would like to uh, learn more about CCC Confer or the different ways that you can use it either from your desk, from your home, or in your classroom, uh, feel free to contact the distance education department and uh, we'll be happy to meet with you to uh, see how you can integrate these tools either as uh, a webinar or even as uh, a lecture capture software. So uh, thank you for uh, viewing this presentation.